Hello everybody, my name is Loha Vanier, and I would like to talk to you about my ideas about vibraphone playing. The vibraphone, or the vibes as it is often called, is probably more known as a jazz instrument, though it was already used as a classical instrument in the 1930s, for example by Alban Burke in his opera Lulu. Back then it was mostly used as a bass glockenspiel um, because of its ringing quality. Soon though it evolved from this to a more pianistic instrument with more detailed musical possibilities, um, mainly through the jazz vibraphone player Gary Burton. Resulting of this is actually a, a big confusion in the notation of the possibilities of the vibraphone. Frequently, um, pedal markings and phrasings and actual note length are just omitted from the score, and the, the performer has to decide it by himself. Here are some of my ideas um, on getting more clarity and control into your vibraphone sound. First of all, it is important to achieve a legato sound with your pedal. Um, so I would su suggest put your metronome onto 50 beats per minute and uh, play four note chords. It is important that no note rings, rings through, but there should also be no break between the, between the chords. So use your ears well. Um, the pedal is your only direct contact with the, with the bars, with the instrument in total also. Um, so it should be very sensitive. Try to feel the exact moment when the felt is leaving the bars and when it is touching again to dampen. Avoid pressing the the pedal all the way to the floor, or even leave your foot off of it. I suggest only using the smallest muscles in your, in your foot, like the toes and the ball of the foot. Another advantage of this is that you can leave your heel on the floor, which provides you with a better stance. Gear-wise, I would say that a soft dampening felt is, um, is better than a hard one, because it will provide you better uh, with more sensitivity. If um, you could use a voicing tool to fluffen it up a little bit. Um, pedal damping can also be rhythmical um, to adjust the note lengths. For instance, long notes, short ones, or even staccato, if you decide to leave the pedal up. From a certain speed on, I would also suggest to leave the pedal up completely. Only use it for longer values, for instance in lines. But to choke the sound not too much, uh, try adjusting the spring below, your damp below the damper felt, which is situated here. A loose, a loose spring or a tightened spring will provide it with different length of sound. Another possibility to put more resonance into your fast lines is a uh, flutter pedal, which works like this. The quick pedal pedaling allows you to give more resonance to the lines, but not obscure the clarity. Now we'll talk about the second possibility of damping, dampening ringing vibraphone bars, which is mallet dampening. It works by pressing a mallet firmly to the, to the key. On the vibraphone, you can use uh, alternate mallet dampening in one direction. Or same mallet dampening if you have a contrary motion. Again, it's, it's important to achieve a legato, so use your ears. No bar should be ringing through, no, uh, but there should also be no break between, um, the, between the notes. Same as pedaling, this can also be used rhythmically for long notes, short ones, or staccato. In the following example, I would like to show you how beneficial these techniques are in polyphonic playing. This is the opening of My Mother Goose by Maurice Ravel. I hope
hope I could give you a small overview of the pianistic possibilities of the vibraphone. But don't forget, the vibraphone can also still be a bass glockenspiel with all the notes ringing through. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.